So today I'm going to show you how to create a iCal feed. Now an iCal feed goes in your calendar section of your um, properties page and it allows you to have one common calendar that synchronizes with all other pages. You may uh, be, for example, with Airbnb. They have an option also where you can uh, create an iFeed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, our page, our property, click Edit. We're going to go over to Calendar. And then in the second bottom section, now I can see I've already created one. But to create a, an iCal feed, you put you give it a name. I've called mine OPD. You can give yours the name of your filler. And this feed URL here, this is where um, the iCal feed will come from. Now, I suggest if you haven't already got a Gmail or a Google Mail account, create one. You can give it the name Villa Casa, for example, at gmail.com. Open the account and then create it. And if you open a new tab in a browser on a PC, on the right hand side you will see Gmail. And uh, here is your Google Apps. Come down to Calendar. Now, the first thing we need to do in the calendar is go to Settings. And we need to come over here to Calendar. And then we have Sharing. Make this public. So tick this box, make this calendar public, and then select Save. If you then come down to the name of your calendar, if you haven't already created one, you can, you can create a calendar. I've called mine Owners Direct, ironically. We need then to come down to iCal Feeds. This is the bit that we will be copying. And you can see Owners Properties Direct and gmail.com. So iCal Feed. If you then right click and you can then copy the link address and say OK, go back onto your page and you would then give this, for example, a name. I've called it test. Paste the URL in there and then select save. OK, now then. From the Google account that we've just um, opened up, if we then go back to Calendar, now what we can do, for example, uh, if we go to December, you might want to go away just after Christmas for a week, highlight these two weeks, or one week rather, and give it a, a name, Holiday, and then create. So we have now created from the 4th to the 11th of December a booked date. If we then um, go into our listing page, I'm going to remove this because I've already got one tested. So now if I select save on there, changes are saved. If I then go into my test page, I can see my calendar down here. If I go into December, you can see at the moment there are no bookings. If I refresh the page by pressing F5 on the top of the keyboard, that will refresh the page. And you can now see that those dates are now in the calendar on your listing. So by maintaining one calendar in Gmail, you are effectively uh, updating all the details on your website too. If you have this link uh, in Airbnb, for example, again, all three calendars will be synchronized. This particular calendar is synchronized every three hours. However, if you go into your control panel on the calendar section and press save, it will automatically sync. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you.